Hello and welcome to the horoscope readings for this powerful week ahead, Monday the 5th of September right through to Sunday the 11th. Now the reason why I'm talking about the dates today is because we've got some powerful times ahead. Now this is going to be a week where things are moving forward. Now you're going to feel this on every single level, you've already been feeling it since September the 1st because Archangel Nathaniel has come in on his great spiritual bulldozer and he's moving things out of the way however on the 10th which is saturday we've got a powerful full moon and that's going to be bring in a lot of reflection and healing and releasing but also we go into mercury retrograde on friday now i don't really buy into that because your thoughts are you know your perception so if you think you're going to have a bad time during mercury retrograde that's what you're intending and that's what you're attracting if you feel like it doesn't bother you and you're going to have a great time anyway, that's exactly the energy you're going to be in. But I feel the Mercury retrograde for this month and this lasts until the beginning of October is going to be about deep reflection. And that's working for us, not against us. Why? Because we're all going to be going deep within ourselves, healing things. And this full moon is about release and healing. It's more about going within to find what needs to be released than actually the releasing itself. That comes later. So this is where everything is being brought up to the surface. So that's what you're going to be shown over the next month or so. Things being brought up to the surface for healing and change. And I spoke about this in September's overview and in the horoscope readings, which are all available to watch for September now. All you need to do is go to the playlist. So the reason I'm talking about it before I start the cards is this is going to be a powerful week where there's going to be a lot of healing occurring. So again, it could have some ups and downs as we move towards the full moon. But remember, you are safe and loved and protected and all is well. And the angels are working behind the scenes right now to bring everything up to the surface so your life can move forward in the most positive, most powerful way. So what we're going to do because we're all on this journey, and you know, most of you watching are twin flames, but we're all on this journey as a sacred traveller, which means we find our own way, we walk our own path, even though most of us, you know, are feeling our twin and connecting with them, we still walk our own path throughout our life, and that doesn't matter if we're in union, separation, or just living, we are sacred travellers on this journey, which means we find our own way. So I'm going to bring in the gorgeous Sacred Traveller Oracle by the amazing Denise Lynn. And I'm going to do this sign by sign, but I've got all the signs here. And just to make it a bit more interesting for me, I shuffle the cards and then I'm not doing the signs in order. So whatever order they want to come out. Now all of the signs are going to be time stamped in the description box below. So all you need to do is click on that and go straight to your sign or your person's sign and you're going to receive the reading for the week ahead. But the big message coming through is don't worry about Mercury retrograde because it's working for you, not against you. I hope that helps, okay? So we're going to start this week then with Cancer. Now I love this because I'm a Cancer. So great sign to start this week. So thank you, angels. What's the energy please around Cancer for this new week? What's the energy please around Cancer for this new week? There it is, jumping out the deck there. I'm going to do the two. So the first energy for you, Cancer, is first light. Isn't this beautiful? So I feel that, you know, you're definitely beginning a new cycle. You're feeling good. So this is going to be a week of power for you. But you're also maybe getting up at first light. You may be getting up very early this week to get things done. And that really resonates with me because, you know, George is away until Thursday. And I've been doing this all week. So getting up at the crack of dawn. You know, making sure you get the best out of your day, feeling grateful, beginning a new cycle, fresh start, change. Maybe this could be a period cycle for you. So it could be you're dealing with your monthly or it could be that, you know, you're ready for change. You're ready for a new job. You're ready for a new career. You're ready for service. Maybe you're ready for a new home or environment. You're ready for the next stage of your connection with your twin or your person. So view from above. So the message is whatever's going on this week, make sure you are the observer, that you're rising above the situation and viewing it from above and then you get the big picture. 
So you don't worry, you don't stress out, you don't go into panic because you know there's a bigger plan. So the big message here is gratitude. Starting the day early and gratitude will set you up for the day. Maybe you want to start your day in meditation or breath work or healing. And the view from above is great when you're operating in that higher energy. Because when you're operating through gratitude and meditation energy, you are operating in a higher power. So you observe in your journey, you respond with love, you have compassion for others. You see all points of view, especially as we're moving towards Christmas time. So I feel that your journey is improving and things are getting much better between now and Christmas time. You know, you may have had a rocky start to the year. You know, you may have been finding your way throughout the year. Well, you found your way. You're finding your feet now. You know what you're doing. You know, you've got a plan now and things are becoming very, very clear. And this is also about the journey falling into place, seeing results for all the hard work you've done, especially in communication, things coming back together, results showing up because you know now why things have taken time or are taking time because it's all part of the bigger picture. So make sure you've got that view from above. The angels are giving you a heads up saying, if anything comes in that triggers you or affects you, Raise your vibration, be the observer, remember there's a bigger picture and know that gratitude will set you free. You know, being grateful is going to open all the doors and a new cycle is coming in, a cycle for change. I hope this helps, okay, very powerful. Next sign is Aries, welcome Aries. I love it because we've just done cancer and now we're doing Aries and my twin sign is Aries, powerful. So if there's any cancer Aries connections, new beginnings. Aries, what do you need to know? Card jumped out. Wow, look at this for you. Transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. Now, isn't this beautiful? Because, you know, we're heading towards this full moon. We've got power flowing in. A new way of being emerges. Transformation. This is the phoenix rising up. Now, you had a really powerful reading last week too. You know, where you were going in nature, connecting, realizing things about your life and things were making sense and you may have received some signs about the next steps or some epiphanies you know what to do even if you're not quite ready to put that plan into place you know exactly what to do and you're getting stronger a new way of living emerges so this is definitely you changing your life maybe even changing lifestyle diet you know your schedule I feel you've got more energy to do things. You want to get things done. You're feeling motivated right now to release an old part of yourself and work on a new part of yourself because a new way of living occurs, a new way of being, you know, a new way of walking through your life. You know what to do. You're ready for this fresh start and you're feeling energized and you're rising up. So a very powerful week for you of transformation and change. And I feel this is definitely about you getting things into place for you know, the further weeks ahead. So I feel this could definitely be a planning stage for you. And as you move forward into the midst of September, you're going to put these plans into place. I hope that helps. Okay, super powerful. Virgo, welcome. And remember, Virgo, we're doing your daily angel readings right now. So every day, you know, you get your message. And if you are celebrating your birthday this week, happy birthday. So what do we need to know, please, this week for Virgo? two cards wow we've got answering the call amazing now this is showing you that you're being called to do something now this really resonates with all the daily angel readings we've been doing for you lately because you're being guided to maybe start a youtube channel or you know do instagram or facebook or get your website going because you're being guided to share your message with the world you know you're here to answer the call and that call is from your soul from your heart and from your passions, the time is now, and things are falling into place for you now, answering the call, you may receive communication from your person this week, answer the call, that means don't punish them by thinking, oh, I'll just wait a little bit, or I won't reply, if you want to be in communication, and they contact you in any way, answer that call, the time is now, you know, in the now you have won, but I feel this is a big message to be aware of the now and operate in the now, which means release the past, which can cause struggle. Or don't worry about the future, which can cause anxiety. Just be in the now. And then you can answer the call of your soul in this moment. So I feel you're being guided to do 
what you're being guided to do. And you've got breaking the trail. Now, this is really powerful because, you know, if anything's been in your way or you've been struggling with anything, Archangel Nathaniel is creating the way. So there's a breakthrough is a tan. So, you know, if you haven't yet seen communication or had that or seen any, you know, inkling that something is changing, it absolutely is. A breakthrough is ahead. So this week, just be open and ready to anything the universe brings to you because you're breaking that trail. You're getting ready for the new. Something magical is coming into your life and your breakthrough is ahead. So call on Archangel Nathaniel. Call on Michael to bring you strength in and keep moving forward because great things are coming into your life. I hope that helps, okay? Pisces, welcome. It's going to be a powerful one for you with the full moon. So a lot of deep thinking going on and change. What do we need to know for Pisces? One card. We've got, wow, look at this, surrendering to the journey, release control. So, you know, this is going to be a big one for you because between now and the full moon, you're being guided to release this to heaven, to give it to heaven, to stop trying to do everything by yourself. Think about Cinderella. She's trying to do everything by herself and she has a fairy godmother who can come in and help. And you have angels by your side and they can come in and help, but you have to ask them for help and assistance. So ask, believe, receive. So where you are on your journey right now, you may have been asking and maybe trying to make it happen or trying to control something and instead just let go. Have unwavering faith that your dreams are manifesting. And you may see signs when you let go like feathers or, you know, angel signs in the clouds or through music or a sign that shows you everything's falling into place. You know, when we stop fighting against the current, the current takes us where we're meant to be. And that's what I'm seeing, you know, moving forward. Your journey is moving forward, whether you can see it or not. And this is the light at the end of the tunnel. So you're getting ready. You are strong and brave and powerful and you can handle whatever comes your way because God would not give you anything that you can't handle. So be strong today. Be free. Feel free. And move forward by surrendering your journey, releasing control and trusting the process. Because what's meant for you will be for you. And all you have to do is let go to allow those things in. You know, when we're so in it and we're trying to control, we're struggling with things and we create a natural block. So to remove that natural block, take that step back, allow the universe and your person to step in and things will move forward. I hope that helps. Expect to see things like boats or you know, ships or, you know, even Viking boats, because it's a big sign of change for you. I hope that helps. Sagittarius, welcome. Let's see what the message is for you for this week ahead. So message is great adventure. I love how everything's coming up roses in a way for you. You know, everything's the same for everyone here. And if you're also connected with the Pisces, big sign for you, because they got the boats and I picked up on a Viking boat and here it is. So, Great adventures coming into your life, especially around the full moon. You know, be ready for anything. It says take a risk and venture forward. So this is going to be a week where you may have to let go of your comfort zone a little bit to achieve your dreams. Maybe you're being guided to do something or go somewhere and you're a little bit apprehensive. But around the full moon on Saturday, you're just going to take a leap. You're going to release that control. You're going to move towards your dreams and let go of fear. So release fear. And move forward. And I feel this week is going to feel different to you. You know, like you can do this. You're feeling stronger. Something is coming. You feel like something is coming. Because you're moving into the unknown. And that can be scary because the unknown can have choppy waters. You don't know what's going to come in. But you can handle whatever you were given. Because you were strong. And be the archer that you are. You know, have a vision of what you desire. And let it go, you know, give it to heaven and then follow the action steps you're guided to take. Don't worry about how or when or have expectations. Just be open to anything because the universe has so much it wants to bring into your life. But you have to be open to change. So a great adventure is coming in. Take a risk into those stormy seas, into those unknown waters. Venture forward and everything will fall into place. Magic ahead. Whenever we take a risk and we are guided, we are rewarded. I hope that helps, okay? Aquarius, welcome. 
What's the energy, please, angels, around Aquarius? We've got fellow travellers, love this. So you may see rainbows this week, big signs of protection. You may see peacocks, big sign of confidence. You have a vision of what you desire and it's falling into place. You're being reminded this week that that vision is becoming a reality, but the delays or any obstacles to it are always protection. So take your time, there's no need to rush. All you have to do is have a vision. Support is all around you. So, you know, you may have been setting their intention and asking for things and it's all falling into place. So the right people will come in to guide you, help you, be there for you. The angels are assisting you. You have support all around you from your real physical reality and your spiritual guides. So great time ahead. And, you know, this message, fellow traveler, it's like you've been addressed by the universe saying you're not alone. You are a fellow traveller, we're all in this together. So if you're going through something, remember, you're not alone. We're all in this together. That's why this channel is daily. So if you're struggling with something, you can come here and get support. Maybe watch a video or talk to someone in the comments or just feel that you know power of connection with others that get you and understand you and have your back. So you're not alone. Be confident in your journey. Because things are moving ahead. Support is all around you. You're being guided and you are not alone. Really connecting with the two of ones in this card. So have that vision. You may even be at a crossroads in your life and deciding what to do. Hold your vision and everything will fall into place. And the same fall out to fall in. Powerful. We've got Capricorn. Welcome Capricorn. What's the energy around you for this next week? Wow, there it is, okay, try and jump out. I'm going to take these because I feel you've got a big week ahead, okay? Now, we've got for you Mystic Healer. Healing energy flows through you. So, you know, anything you're dealing with that may knock you down, now that could be a physical thing, it could be an emotional thing. Make sure you use your natural healing power to get well or to feel good or to feel strong because, you know, you have power. And we all get knocked down on this journey, but we all get back up again. So you are a healer, naturally a healer, and, you know, you have power within you. You are a natural, intuitive, psychic, strong. So use those abilities to keep going forward, especially between now and Christmas time. In the flow, everything is smooth sailing. So when you remember your power and you make decisions from your heart, things become smoother in your life. Things sail forward. And this is a great message again about how Everything right now is moving forward in the later part of the year. Again, I've got this energy coming up as Christmas time, January time, things moving into place. So a great time for you to move forward. There's a lot of rejuvenating rain around this week. So there may be some thunderstorms, some rain around you. Cleanse it, clear the past to heal the present. And the full moon on Saturday is all about release. So, you know, you may feel like you need to clear the past. That means clear old things out. Give things to charity, clear the clutter. Maybe you are releasing yourself from all photos or things you don't need. Changing things around. You know, I see you kind of taking photos off the wall or putting photos in drawers or putting them in albums and, you know, putting them where they belong. Perhaps in your mind, but in a part of the past because you're preparing for the future. And this can also be the pictures in your mind, you know, of the way your twin flame may have treated you or things that have happened you're releasing that now because you're getting ready to put new po new photos in to these frames, you know, in your mind or on the wall or in, in your life because you're about to create lots of new memories and grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. So, you know, focus on joy this week, gratitude, feeling grateful, and it's going to open doors because, you know, when we're grateful and we're at peace with things and with, you know, in the energy of grace where we are really just open and ready and allowing things to flow and allowing the universe to step in. We feel better. So we feel more enthusiastic about our life. We notice blessings. We pay attention to the signs and we shout to the heavens with happiness. So this is a big message that, you know, remember your power, you are psychic and you're moving forward. Things are getting better in your life because you're going with the flow. And because of that, you're more open and aware of the blessings. You're more grateful and magic is flowing in. So joy is going to open the doors and lead you forward because you are on the right path. I hope that helps. Wow. 
Next sign is Gemini. Welcome, Gemini. So what's the energy around you for this powerful week ahead? We've got breaking trail. Amazing. It says a breakthrough is at hand. Now, this is so powerful because Archangel Nathaniel has been working very closely with Lord Ganesh and Archangel Michael to remove obstacles out of the way. So if there has been challenges around you or obstacles, the you know, they're moving, there's big breakthroughs ahead. So if you've been seeing roadworks or road sweepers or anything that's about destruction, you know, or things moving out of the way, things being brought up to the surface, this is your reminder that that's what's ahead. You may even see penguins because penguins are about breakthroughs. You could see bicycles, bicycles or motorbikes, especially bicycles about easy movement because this is showing you your dreams are coming true. You're just having the way prepared and made ready by the angels. So a breakthrough is a talent. So you're going to be feeling much more aware this week and much more ready for what's coming. This is a week of preparation for you to move ahead. So breakthroughs. You can see the way out. You can see there's an answer. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel because you've been talking to your angels and the way is being made. This could also be a week where, you know, you're clearing clutter, having a clean up you know, sorting things out. Maybe you're in that mood, you're just in a tidy mood and you want to clean, get things ready because you're preparing Gemini for a new cycle ahead. I hope that helps. Wow. Leo, welcome. Leo, what's coming in for, for you? Wow. Wow, look at this. Finding sanctuary and crossing bridges. Now, what I'm feeling with this especially is this may be a great week for you to meditate, to, you know, connect with your twin flame on the 5D realm, to connect with your angels and guides, maybe going to your safe place, somewhere you feel as a sanctuary, that could be in the house, it could be outdoors, it could be somewhere different, it could be a certain place you go to every now and again to feel at peace, it could be going to church or going to a temple, so this is somewhere you feel safe, where you know you can move into a different energy, so the crossing bridges is crossing into the next phase of your life, which means a new beginning, it's also about crossing realms so i feel this is also you've been very aware of other realms you know connecting with your twin on the 5d maybe dreaming about them or going through some astral travel maybe connecting with the spirit realm and talking to loved ones in heaven or connecting with angels and guides you know this is about you knowing that there's something bigger going on so i feel you're also in you know away with the fairies this week a little bit not in a bad way in a good way because you're allowing your angels to speak to you you're allowing your mind to wander and you're allowing yourself to connect with your psychic self. So you're finding sanctuary within and above. So very powerful week for you. So it's opening up to your spiritual source. So you're realizing more and more that God is your source, that you know you are provided for in every moment, that you are a creator of your reality, that you are a manifester. And that's bringing in you know, these bridges where you can build bridges with others, sort things out, manifest your dreams. And it feels like, you know, they're showing me you here and maybe everything you want over there. You know, and maybe the bridge hasn't been clear now. Or the, the bridge hasn't been clear until now. In other words, there's always been a way to your dreams, but now you can see the pathway. It's like all the debris that was on that pathway that may have been stopping you from seeing that pathway is now being cleared away with Archangel Nathaniel. So you can now move ahead. You can cross the bridge now or cross the path to receive your dreams. And he says it's time for healing, connecting, mending and releasing. And we've got the full moon. Great time to release things. And then this is a great time to mend things. So healing energy coming into your connection, especially with others, any others, friends, family, you know, definitely your twin flame, but this is also but mending a relationship with yourself, mending that connection with God, the creator, healing things around family. Maybe the mother healing series is helping you right now. So a lot happening to move you forward, but it's all taking place this week in a spiritual way to make it happen in a physical way. I hope that helps. Wow. Taurus, welcome. What's the energy coming in, please, angels around Taurus for this week? What do we need to know? It's like the angel saying you don't even really need guidance this week because you're tapping in with your intuition. You're already tapping in with your inner self. You already know the way. You know, the answer's already within. We've got uncovering treasure and that's what I'm feeling. You know, you're, you are uncovering all the treasures within. 
harnessing all the information within you, connecting with heaven, uncovering all the blessings in your life and feeling magical. It says beneath the surface lies great bounty. So you're realizing that everything is already in you. Everything's in you to get what you desire. Your twin flame already lives within you. You were never separated in spiritual truth. You are one. And you're realizing that to receive great bounty in your life, prosperity, abundance, money, support, opportunities, better health, everything you want, it's just accessing the power within you to make those things happen. And you may be uncovering some treasure in your life. So things may be coming to light, you know, finding things. It's really powerful because, you know, I had a big clear out, you know, well, I am still doing it really, but I'm having a big clear out and, you know, I thought I'd lost a pair of specific earrings. I actually had them on in yesterday's videos and I thought I'd lost them for good. George bought them for me, they're very, you know, special to me. And I just kind of surrendered it. So for about six months, I thought I lost these earrings. And then when I was tidying up a certain part of my room, I found them and it was like uncovering treasure. So I feel you may find things you may have thought you'd lost or you'd forgotten about. So you're uncovering treasure. And you know, when we clear the clutter and tidy things up and, you know, sort things out, we do find things we've forgotten about. So it's like uncovering treasure. So finding things you may have thought were lost, there are now found. Archangel Shamuel is on that with you. And we've got wandering path, enjoy the journey. So you may be seeing foxes in your real world or your virtual world. But foxes are about, you know, cunning and planning and plotting and understanding things. So you're learning and understanding and realizing that it's not about the destination. It's about enjoying the journey to the destination and trusting that journey and it's all beginning to make sense. So you're going through a little bit of an epiphany this week because you're realizing that everything you've ever needed or wanted has been there within you all along. I hope that helps. Wow, what a powerful reading for you. Next sign is Scorpio. Welcome. What's the message, please, angels, and the energy around Scorpio this week? Wow. So the message is distant thunder. Love it because... You know, I feel that there may be some rain around. Look at this, we've got cleansing water. There may be some rain, could be thunder around this week because it's all helping to clear the air, to move things forward. You know, the rumblings of thunder. And, you know, if you don't see any in your physical reality, you're definitely going to feel it in your, you know, spiritual reality because things are happening to move things forward, to break you free from the past. You know, it's like you've been calling in everything you desire and it's on its way. And the cleansing waters are out purification. Purification activates vibrant life force. So as we move towards the full moon, which is a time of release, you're going to be feeling much clearer and more cleansed, healed. You may be like me and being clearing things out this week. You know, last week, this week's all into one, you know, clearing the clutter, giving things to charity, donating, getting things ready, making more space, getting ready for the new. Because you're traveling lightly. Simplify your life. So, you know, when we cleanse ourselves, we want to cleanse our environment, our home, our car, our workspace. We want to cleanse things so we can travel lightly and simplify our life and have less clutter. And that's really what I'm feeling for you because you're about to move into a new future, you know, unknown territory. You're exactly where you need to be. So it's like you're preparing yourself for that. You know, you're preparing for either a new job or a new home or a new start with your twin flame or a new relationship if you're single, whatever it is you want it. You know, you're getting ready for it now. So you're simplifying things. You're clearing things up. You may get a haircut this week or change something about your appearance because you're traveling lighter. You're getting ready. Things are making more sense. And traveling lightly is also about releasing burdens. You're releasing things that have previously weighed you down. You know, you're giving that to heaven now. So you're feeling much better because you know that you're supported and loved. So even if you've been carrying burdens around your future, unknown territory, what will be, you're feeling better this week because you're putting those burdens down and you know that you have the support of angels. So wherever you go, whatever you do, you protect it. And the angels are saying to you, you are on the right path. So you may see the number 17, 717, 17, 17. The angels are all around you. So cleanse yourself. Take some time for you. Rain is good. Go out in it. If you hear the thunder, 
big sign of rumbles of change. I hope that helps, okay? Next sign is Libra. Welcome, Libra. So what's the energy coming in around you this week? Here we go. Two cards. So the message is we've got joy and delight. And look at this passion and pleasure. This is going to be a really great week for you because, you know, if you raise your vibration and allow yourself to operate in that energy, you're going to feel joy. You're going to feel delight. You're going to be excited about what's to come. You're going to follow your passions and find great pleasure in those things. It says open your heart to joy. So all you need to do is open your heart to the good things in life, to be grateful, to look for the blessings around you. And that will open the door to more and savor your life. So enjoy each moment. Let the past go. It's got you where you are. Don't worry about the future. It will take care of itself. Be in the present and then you savor your life. You enjoy it, the way it tastes, the way it smells, the way it is. Because you realize that it's about the journey, not just the destination finding great pleasure in things. So I feel there's going to be a lot of passion and pleasure in your love life because you're finding joy in that. So this could actually be meeting up in the 3D world with your person, sharing that pleasure, sharing that passion, but also connecting in other ways. So you're feeling the joy and delight regardless of the 3D world and you're feeling excited, you know, dancing with life, dancing with yourself, finding your way, doing things you want to do maybe taking yourself somewhere new or somewhere good or nice. So, you know, you're giving back to yourself this week and it shows and it's attracting in everything that you want. Great time for you. Enjoy it. Have a great week. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.